If you had the chance to become a member of either Miyagi-Do or Cobra Kai Dojo, which dojo would you join? Cobra Kai is undoubtedly one of the best shows on Netflix right now, and it's a pity we have to wait until 2021 for the next season. On screen, the show is the right mix of amusing dialogue, impressive fight scenes, intriguing drama, and heartwarming nostalgia. But what if we told you that things are equally as entertaining behind the scenes? Well, in this video, we are going to take you behind the scenes of your favorite comedy drama and look at some behind-the-scenes secrets of Cobra Kai and what it really looks like. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We are giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice, so be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter this giveaway. It's really that simple. First, did you know some scenes and lines are improvised? We can all agree that the dialogue in Cobra is absolutely rib cracking and that the writers deserve pats on the back for their excellent work. Lines like change that ringtone, get some Guns N' Roses or something, from the time Johnny asked Miguel to change his EDM smartphone ringtone, and a Coors banquet for me and a Shirley Temple for the lady, from the time Johnny and Daniel were hanging out at the bar and Johnny made the order, will forever remain fresh in the memories. You should know that the actors also have a few jokes up their sleeves as well. Some of the lines in the show that sent us into fits of laughter were actually courtesy of the actors. For example, in the scene where Daniel confronts Johnny for drawing a giant penis on the LaRusso's auto group signboard that had a picture of him, William responded saying, it wasn't a dick, it was a rocket ship. We have no idea how William came up with such a funny comeback, but hey, he is William Zabka. That line was so amusing that the crew had to temporarily stop the cameras from rolling so they could all have a good laugh. Well now Zabka knows that in the nearest future if Hollywood isn't working out anymore, he can always venture into comedy. That man is a gem. Next is that, sometimes things go overboard. You can't discuss Cobra Kai without referencing the show's numerous rivalries. The characters are pretty chill, but the progression of events on the show places them all on a constant collision course, which eventually results in every character having their very own nemesis to face off. The show's most popular rivalry is the one between Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso that dates back to 36 years before the first season of Cobra Kai was filmed but that's not the rivalry we will be discussing. The rivalry that caused things to go overboard was the one between Tori, played by Peyton List, and Samantha LaRusso, played by Mary Mouser. In one scene where Sam and Tori had an argument, the plan according to the big three was for Tori to shove Sam, who was trying to pull her back, and then leave. Things got out of hand when Tori shoved Sam a little too hard, and poor Mary Mouser ended up crashing smack into a table of cake. When you think about it, the blooper was actually pretty perfect for the scene. After the fall, Peyton stood there looking horrified because clearly she hadn't meant to hurt her co-star. Some members of the cast and crew rushed to Mary Mouser to see if she was okay. Instead of reassuring the concerned crew members, Mary took her time to taste the cake and then commented, hmm, this tastes good. Considering the situation, it's safe to assume that hmm, this tastes good was code for, I am very well, thanks for asking. We can now proceed with filming. How about those fake locations? Cobra Kai is such a great show because it makes up for what it lacks in location diversity and dialogue action, and suspense. Seeing how the show is centered around Daniel LaRusso, Johnny Lawrence, and the kids who are the students of their dojos, it is only natural that most of the show is shot in the two dojos, the high school, and occasionally Daniel's house and office. As the show progressed, fans speculated that the Cobra Kai dojo in the spin-off series was in fact fake. The fans who came up with this theory discovered they couldn't be farther from the truth. Here's how they found out. In a behind-the-scenes video, a siren is heard blaring outside the dojo while Johnny trains his students. I could bet my last dollar that you never guessed that. The Cobra Kai fake location is, wait for it, Miguel's apartment. One of the crew members let the fans in on his secret when he confessed in an interview that Miguel's house wasn't real and none of the doors actually led anywhere. We don't know about you, but we are convinced that the set designers deserve a raise for doing such a great job. We definitely didn't see this one coming. Most rivalries are purely fictional. Still on the topic of rivalries, it's safe to say that the rivalry between the two main characters, Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso, is one of the most entertaining aspects of the show. Because who doesn't love a good three decade long rivalry? We love seeing the two rival and nothing gives us greater joy than the scenes where they decide to get in on karate style. This next behind the scenes secret might burst your bubble. So brace yourself. You should know that behind the scenes and in real life, William Zabka and Ralph Macchio are pretty tight friends with absolutely no bad blood between them. In fact, the two have been buddies since they met on the set during the filming of their original Karate Kid movie. If you are wondering just how tight the pair are, they are close enough to go grocery shopping together. Speaking to the New York Post, William Zabka, who had previously described himself and Ralph as an odd couple, said, When we 
went to film this thing in Atlanta, we got there and went grocery shopping together. I'm asking if he needs his egg whites, and he's asking if I need my grapes. So, boys and girls, if you have been fantasizing about an off-screen fight between Ralph and William, now is a pretty good time to ditch that pipe dream, because it's not going to happen. Before we move on, we'd like to give our viewers a little challenge. Let's see how many seconds it will take you to smack that subscribe button and turn on notifications. We'd love to have you as a regular viewer of our channel. We are always looking for the coolest and craziest things to show you, so you're guaranteed to have a good time. Also, if you complete the challenge, you will have good luck for the rest of the year. What are you waiting for? Next, we have the karate training and movie magic. Seeing the Cobra Kai as a spin-off of the original Karate Kid franchise, it's only normal that the cast is a mixture of characters from the original movies and some fresh talents. The cast members who were part of the Karate Kid franchise are well-seasoned martial artists, and so do most of the stunts themselves. Some of the new cast members like Tanner Buchanan, who is a Taekwondo master, and Mai Tai trainee, and Jacob Bernard, who holds a purple belt in karate, already had martial art training before taking up roles in the series. New characters who had no prior karate training, however, were mandated to learn basic karate to enable them to fit into their roles. Before any fight scene, the cast members spend hours practicing and trying to perfect every move. It is impressive that all cast members can hold their own and can film their fight scenes themselves. But sometimes, when the need arises, some concepts of movie magic are introduced. For example, Miguel's great fall in the season 2 finale was filmed with the help of a stunt double. Another example of such situations was the infamous mall fight in season 2, which is arguably the greatest Cobra Kai fight scene so far. In the mall fight, Mary Mouser executed a Matrix-style spinning kick that left us with our jaws hanging open. Later on in an interview, Mary Mouser confessed that she pulled the gravity-defying stunt with the help of a rope attached to her back. Said rope helped to lengthen her time in the air and is evident in an exclusive behind-the-scenes video. Who is caught the love bug. During the period of time movies are filmed, cast members spend quite a lot of time together, so it's only normal that some of them hit it off and become pretty great friends. In some cases, some cast members catch the love bug and get together. Two Cobra Kai stars who followed the sacred tradition of the on-set romance are Zolo Mary Duena, who plays Miguel, the star student of Cobra Kai Dojo, and Hannah Keppel, who plays Moon, the show's first LGBTQ member, who was first introduced as Yasmin's best friend before going on to become Hawk's girlfriend. In an interview with Meow in the summer of 2020, Hannah talked about the pair's relationship, saying it started out as funny and flirty. She said, Season 1, we were actually friends. A little flirty, and then we started talking after Season 1, and it clicked. Aw, how cute. Don't you just love young love? The two don't share many scenes, and when you think about it, it's a good thing because it just might get a little bit distracting trying to get into character while staring at your boo. Not that we know anything about that type of stuff. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's episode. Now you know all the behind the scenes secrets of your all time favorite show. Thanks for watching. Are there any behind the scenes secrets that we omitted? What is your opinion on the secrets we have shared? What would you like us to feature next? Anyways, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.